good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm ashley k if you didn't already know there you go welcome back to my channel y'all today i've decided to dye my hair so what i'm finna do right now i'm just gonna jump right into it we finna go to the beauty supply store and get some hair dye i'm not gonna tell y'all what color i'm dyeing it y'all just gonna have to wait and find out right now i got my wig on because yeah but yeah y'all gonna come with me to the beauty supply store and we're about to pick out some color but i'm not gonna tell y'all so yeah <music> Alright y'all, to start off, I've already sectioned my hair off into four sections. The type of bleach I use is the BW2 30 Developer. And that's my little pot. So we just gonna scoop it in there. Oh, it was getting in my eyes the whole video, y'all. I thought that came with a lid. I mean, with the little paper on it that you have to open it, but it didn't. And I just, I measure it, like, I just look at it and mix it to the consistency I like. I don't like mine really thick and pasty, so that was perfect right there. And here we go. To start off, I just start with the ends, okay? Anytime you re-dye your hair, re-bleach your hair, let's say it like that, you want to start at the ends. Don't start at the roots because the roots, they're going to lift quicker due to the fact it's real close to your scalp which you know provides the heat so just starting at the ends and i'm just gonna keep doing that for my entire head i try to get them strand by strand but y'all this process took four hours four hours so just getting the ends and then i'll go back through and i'll get the roots And I'm just focusing on the sections that I've sectioned, the four sections. So I'm going to do the back. When it comes to bleaching, coloring locks, or whatever you're doing, you want to make sure like you really get the product into the lock okay because you can have the lock and you're bleaching it and say you're bleaching it from the brown or the black whatever color your hair is and you don't get the actual inside so you're gonna have like spots like dark spots so really work it in here I am going back through and I'm getting the roots okay I do this last because those are going to lift very quick because they're closer to your scalp where the heat transfers so here I am getting the roots and I sped it up I'm not really going that fast y'all but y'all know that <laughs> I already did the back just doing the front and I could have just bleached my roots and then just put the color on but because I really wanted the color to be bright like my color came out how I wanted it, but I feel like I just got to let it grow on me. But don't get me wrong, I do like it. It's just different. <laughs>
flaming orange in the kiss colors okay y'all uh, this this is an experiment not even y'all this this is different <laughs> i went hard okay go hard or go home so i'm going to use majority of the flaming orange and then just a little bit of some developer to lift it just a little bit more just a little bit y'all and right there uh, more now i'm going to add just a little bit of the ruby red just a little a little a little no and that's what you get right there the little consistency and now i'm just gonna put it on there and with this it ain't no start with the ends then go to the roots put it on there get it on there okay all over it and i started with the brush y'all i don't use brushes when i bleach color whatever i'm doing to my hair i don't use brushes i just want to get the access that was left from the mixing off the brush here we go i use my hands <laughs> and y'all it look like a hot cheeto like my hair look like hot cheetos <laughs> a whole bag of them but i'm just making sure like i get it all in like and it looks mad bright on camera like it looks brighter on camera but it's not that bright like it's bright don't get me wrong but it doesn't really have that much of that orange tint that you all see but just making sure i get it into the lock here we are at the front getting those edges and those baby hairs. You don't want blind edges, blind baby hairs and red hair. I mean, if you do, I mean, that's up to you, but not me. Working it in, as y'all see. And I'm just going to finish the top. Like I said, I try to do it strand by strand. But that takes forever, y'all. It takes forever, so you will see me going back in to, you know, make sure I got every part of the lock inside and out, root the tip. But I don't mind if you see a little, you know, light, light orange, because that's what it shows with my locks peeking through. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't remind. I don't mind the variety of colors long as majority of it is red like the whole point of me dyeing my hair was to have it red i don't mind but yeah i'm just gonna finish off the top here i am all finished just going back in with the extra color that i had making sure i have everything and just making sure i use it all up even though it didn't cost that much i'm, I'm gonna use it all making sure i'm like i said here's the part where I want to make sure I get every little peak that's coming through. Make sure I get the roots. Then I'm going to just throw it in a ponytail. Well, at least try to put it in a ponytail. Cause, I mean, my hair not that long. But it something happened. Look. Made something work. Throw my shower cap on. And then I'm just gonna let that sit, you all. I'm finna chill and clean up while that sits for 25 minutes. Here I am after it set, y'all. It looks like pink. It's not, y'all. It's not that bright. Like it's not. But it's completely like set. Alright, y'all. So this is the finished product. All I did was wash the hair dye and wash the hair dye out. I want to retwist my hair, so this is just for right now. I've been doing this for what, the past four hours. I already go eat. But yeah, if y'all like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Y'all like this color? It really looks mad bright on camera. It's not really that bright. Like, it's bright, but it look pinkish red. Like, I like a Cheeto. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.